Hi, I'm Navidan Sarya, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can stop a host, the host that you created in last video. So without any further ado, let's begin. For those of you that just joined this video series of Multiplayer Gaming Game Maker, let me show you what we have done. So first of all, let's just run over server node and run over Game Maker. So in here, whenever we click on this host, it will create a host, the host number zero, and add a player to it, player number zero, and player number zero has X and Y in it, okay? And we did talk about it in this video series. So let's just show you how you can stop a host. So for that, I add a stop button in here that in it, it's just saying back, okay? So you create a host and if you click on this button, it will stop the host. And in this OBJ stop host, I just add a create event that change image, image speed to zero and in most inter and most wheel it will change the image Im, image index nothing more right so let's just close this we don't need them first thing to do in obg host button you remember when we click on that we send a create host event to the server and you know it from last video and in async network in here we if we successfully create the host in here we get the host number and player number that is the host number for when the server is run for first time the host number is zero and player number is zero as well okay so it will give us the host number and player number and in here before doing anything else i want to save these both of these numbers in a global variable so in all obj global in here i want to create two more variable and one of them is global dot host number let's just give it a no one value that is minus four you know that global dot player number and again no one at default it's no one okay so in obj host button in here in async networking when we successfully create the host we set these values global dot host number is equal to this host number that we get from the data that is coming from the server right so after that global dot player number equal player number okay and everything now is cool. We know the host number and we know the player number in uh, from these global variables. Okay. Now that we have this, let's just create a another room. Okay. So let's just close all everything in here and add another room just for testing. I will delete this room. It's just for testing. I, I want to call it RM host. At the end of this video, instead of this RM host, we will run a level, run a platformer game or whatever game that you have. But this time, I wanna I wanna use this RM host, okay? Because the the size of the first room is this. I wanna change the uh, this RM host to this as well, okay? So let's just change it. It's just for simplicity, so you can see it in one monitor, right? So now we have our room host. It could be a lobby for you. So you create a lobby, everyone else can join this lobby, and you can see the player that is joining this lobby. And I will show you how you can get the number of get the players that is in this lobby, for example. Okay, so we can we could just call it RM lobby for example okay and in here i want to just add a asset layer in here and add this spr host sprite to here for example so no we know that we are in this rm lobby okay and i want to add this obj stop host to our instance layer of course so let's just add this this is a button this is just a, a sprite okay so no let's just go to workspace and in here in this obj host button when we successfully create our host let's just say go to the room that we created okay rm lobby okay so now let's just run our game see if it's working or not right now there is a host and if we click on it it will create another host with a new player in it and in in here you with this button in here we know that we are in the host room in the lobby room or host room and with this back button we can click on it and stop the host right so now let's just write the logic for this back button let's just close everything and use this obg stop host it just has a create event that image speed is zero the most inter it will change the image index and most leave it's just changing image index again and if you go in this you can see that it has two image in this sprite and we just changing the image index we have that effect that when we hover over our button it will change its image index and that's all there is to it okay so now i want to add another event of most left pressed so whenever they left pressed on this button it will stop the host right First of all, we should go to OBG Global and in here, you know that we create a enum in here that is called message type and we have a stop host type in it, okay? So let's just go to a stop button in here, back button in here. And in here, like always, we should create a map. And in here, I want to call it data is equal DS map create, okay? And with this, we create our map and we send 
map over UDP, the function that we create before in here. First, what we need, let me show you. What we need first, the IP. Right now, the IP is this because we are using localhost. At the end of this video series, I will show you how you can set up your VPS or your web page to have a multiplayer game. Okay, so the port is 8080 and the size let's just say 100 doesn't matter and the map is data and the type is msg type dot desktop host okay and with that we sent a empty data empty map that is called data to our server but before we send in this data we should add some parameter to it what the parameter what we want to do in this left rest what we want to do in this obj stop host we want to stop a host so what server needs to know it needs to know host number so what we should do we should give it the host number right so for that we say ds map add and in here we want to add to this data map that we have here next the key is host number host number that we want to a stop right and the host number you know that we save it in a global variable that is called global dot host number and with that we add this global host number to the key host number and we can get it from server now that we have this let's just go to our server now let's just stop our server right clear in here to clear everything in here and you know it we have a state machine in here so we should create a function for this case as well a stop host okay so for that i want to say function or we can just call, create a copy from this function create host but let's just do it this way a stop host this is our function and we should give it this data because we need the data and we wanted this response info as well to get in the port and ip address right so we have the function let's just add the function to our switch case in here so when the message type is a stop host with that we want to run our function that is a stop host right so now everything is okay in our server so now let's just write our a stop host function first of all like always i do this console.log we say we are in the stop host so we make sure that this function runs okay after we finished with the with our server we could just delete all of this console.log the way of deleting this host you know that the host in here is just a array it's just like a list in game maker right so for deleting that we know that we have a host node Number, right so we should get the index of that host number and after that delete that host number right so for that we say hosts dot index of and with this function of index of we, we can find the host that we want to delete okay so inside of it we give it the host number okay we say data dot host number okay or we can just copy and paste from this host number from here it's it will be better to go copy it from the game maker in here and paste it in here okay because it's just an string and we can make a mistake in here so next no no we have the index of this host that we want to stop and after that i want to use another function that is called let me see a splice and with this splice we can delete that host that we want to delete right so the first input is a start number okay the start number is this index that we get in here okay so let's just put it in variable i want to say where host to a stop okay so host to a stop we can just copy it to here and the next input it says from this point from this starting point how many hosts do you want to delete we want to just delete one so we put one in here okay you can read all about this slice <clears throat> splice function when you hover over it now we delete our host and we can call it we stop the host and of course we can send back a data to tell the client that you delete the host or stop the host successfully but i don't want to do that for now i will show you how you can do that in the next video so in many times when when a player click on a button or doing something that you should make sure that it happens on server there is a method for doing that and i will show you how you can do that in the next video for now because we are using the local server we don't need to send back anything because we know that it will successfully send its data okay so for now just have this and now let's just run our server and go to game maker again and run our game in here and when we click on this host you can see it create a it create a host with a player in it and when we head back it will stop that host we are in a stop host function so let's just do something else in here in here we didn't show anything but let's just copy from this console the table hosts in here and paste it in here to show the hosts okay so let's just again close this and run our game again and run our server and 
no when we click on this host it will create a host and if we click on back you can see it will delete that host or stop that host right so when they click on this back button we should make sure that the data is going through and the server should send us a successful message that for example saying that your server closed successfully right but for now just have this function in your game so in the next video i will talk about that i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye